hi guys how are you doing welcome back to the channel this is shocks and this is shocks capture fx i'm happy to see you here today so guys uh today let's get right into it we want to talk about the best trading days in the forex market so let's say you are trading forex it can be a uh, any forex pair and pgu eu any so we want to establish what are the best trading days so what we are going to do I'm not going to just say like uh Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm going to show you uh some proof behind what I will be saying. So we'll look at the cycles first, we'll look at the importance of using the weekend uh, to do your analysis, then we'll look at the force move, we'll talk about that, we'll look at the daily cycle and the midweek reversal, then we will establish what are the trading days uh that are best suited for us depending on what you trade so guys this is a gbp jpy chart as you can see so uh, we have done our analysis and let's say we are using the weekend to what to analyze so this last period separator will be uh the last day of what of this week which means that will be the weekend so what we are doing here is we have established the what an order block which is the blue one as you can see on my screen right here so what we are going to do is we are going to first analyze this if we are just analyzing then we will, uh, we will assume the move we, we are going to project uh materializes then we'll talk about um uh, what we are referring to as the best trading day then we will look at the uh, hindsight examples and uh, try to give proof to our concept so uh, what we are doing here we have this ob right and we have also this area right as our as our areas of interest this is the weekend remember we are analyzing this then price did break structure here so the order blocks responsible is this one and the top one as you can see so let's 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 delete everything so that you guys can clearly see what we are uh, up to okay so number one what are we where are we going we have this channel going up so this is how you analyze during the weekend right we have this channel going up and after that we have this break of structure to the downside meaning prices change what momentum and trend then you also have what this break of structure so one just to do a quick weekend analysis as you would be uh, doing as you look at your chart so if you guys don't know we we post every weekend our analysis in the one in the telegram channel so if you are not part of that telegram chat you should be uh looking for an for a link in the description down below and be sure to join there are many shock sculptor uh channels out there which are fake of course we only have one channel uh, the authentic one that doesn't do investments so if you see any channel uh advertising for investments and everything you are about to be scammed so just use our official one that is in the description down below join our telegram and uh, catch this analysis every weekend so that you can use this or this concept right so this is our order block as you can see so we are assuming we are here all right so what are we expecting here if we draw this order block we are expecting price to move here and what and retest this then drop where to this uh low right to this low this is what we are expecting so uh how do we uh, navigate this or how price uh is going to navigate this is going to determine how we are going to move forward with what with uh our trading and it also determines the best trading days okay so number one we want price to retest our blue order block then we sell right which means uh before that we are not executing any trade so what happens is when the market opens uh on monday right when the market opens on monday or late sunday depending on where you are and depending on which part of the world you are it will uh retrace back to that to the order block right so today is tuesday at the time of recording this video is tuesday the day of recording the video is tuesday right so price will move up to the what to this order block so we are expecting price to move uh from maybe sunday monday sunday monday it moves to this or to this order block then tuesday wednesday it reaches this order block then moves maybe from wednesday to thursday to this or to this low on friday it will be just consolidating or retracing 
I, I hope you got what I said, right? So, um, Sunday, Monday, we are going up. That is what we refer to as the false move, right? That is what we refer to as the false move. Why? Because we are saying people are being induced to buy the week, right? The price gets to our OB, then reverses and goes the other direction and dumping what all the traders that would have bought the week, meaning would be having what we call the midweek reversal. So, uh, what does it look like? What we are saying is price will move up in the direction it doesn't want to go first. That is mm, Sunday, Monday. Then on Tuesday, Wednesday, it retests what uh, an order block and what uh, issues out a midweek reversal, right? Then on Thursday, Friday, it completes the cycle. So it goes up, reverses, then goes up again on what on Friday to what to balance the cycle, right? So most of the times, price will close the week around the same area it opened that same week. Do you understand? All right. So what are we saying? We are saying price will likely reverse on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday which now becomes our our best trading days did you get that right so on monday tuesday on 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 sunday monday price is making what a force move back to the what to the order block it retests the order block on tuesday wednesday thursday then we make our move for the week so if you look closely the week will only have like a handful of what of moves or meaning it, sometimes it only has one move the week price will go one direction in the week meaning we have a false move like this to the order block this is the false move then a retest this is the what the midweek reversal this is the move for the week and on friday it retraces to come back into the what into the zone do you understand okay let's look at another example this is the h4 we are using okay let's look at this then let's go to uh to the h1 and try to see uh how the h1 looks with the with the days okay so this is this is this is what we see here and let, let's mark the beginning of the week which will then enable us to do my okay so this one so we have so this is monday this is tuesday as you can see so monday what does it do it makes a force move up to the what to the h4 order block retest it on tuesday then makes a move on, on Wednesday, it just makes a move again. On Thursday, drops. And on Friday, it continues. So, the week has only one move most of the time. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Just one move. So, what are we doing? What we are most concerned with is the first move and the midweek and the midweek reversal. So, the first move happens on Sunday into Monday. Then, the midweek reversal happens on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Then most of the times Fridays they just reverse to just balance if the move was short was too much. Just get into the weekly range, the weekly trading range, right? Do you understand? Uh, I think you got what I've say, I said there. So let's look at another example, H4. Let's look at another week. This was one week which we we, we, we were considering. Uh, let's look at this week, right? Where we are having this or this OB here this will be here then we move this vertical line to denote the beginning of the week we go to to h1 we try to see what we are up to here we go to h1 right so okay this is the beginning of the week right the red line this one the beginning of the week meaning this is monday this is tuesday right so this is the false move back to what so this is monday tuesday wednesday thursday Friday to retest and makes a move. So if you look closely, it has been what consolidating for the for the most of the what most of the week. So most probably you wouldn't have got this what got this trade. But what you are looking for is a retest of an order block on Tuesday, Wednesday, then you make a move. So the best trading days in the forex market are Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. You have to avoid Mondays by all means necessary. Why? Because we are saying that's the false move. You don't want to be induced. You want the dealer to make a move, then you you react. So we are reaction traders. We don't uh, 
predict the moves we react to what the market tells us we react to what price tells us right so that's what we are doing and that's how we are moving with this thing that's how we are doing it so look out for what for tuesdays and wednesdays and be sure to make your move during those days mondays force move tuesday wednesday midweek reversal then fridays thursdays and fridays you make a move then on friday we balance the equation i hope this was helpful guys i look forward to seeing you on the other end my name is shocks and i'm out trade what you see